Now that the African Cup of Nations has recently been concluded, welcome to the ups and downs of the AFCON. Here I will be talking about the angels and demons that happened uh, in the African Cup of Nations. So we're going to start with an up with the fact that Cameroon had the opportunity to host this AFCON after what happened in 2017 when they had problems and the rights were given to Egypt and Cameroon went to Egypt to win it and this time they held the African Cup of Nations and Egypt almost had their revenge. Egypt were defeated by Senegal so it's an up for Cameroon. It's a win-win for them and uh, on the downside is uh, the stampede that happened you know in the um, Cameroon Comoros uh, game in the group stage uh, which is a very sad sight to see but you know unfortunately in, uh, it happened and we also saw shades of the fact that uh, Cameroon were not so prepared for the AFCON tournament uh, as there were certain things that didn't go well uh, the infrastructures didn't look quite adequate enough and then we go back up again because the AFCON they tried tremendously in uh, in the after game highlights on their YouTube channel. Some highlights of the group stage are still missing, but they tried to follow up, you know, the highlights when games ended, and they were quite fast for the most part. But if you notice, they didn't keep up with most of the games. And uh, on the downside, which is you know in the tournament, the in-game performance and tournament, the goalkeepers were trash. And if you are looking at the performances of the goalkeepers. It was further highlighted in the third place match between Cameroon and Burkina Faso. Like some of the errors these goalkeepers were making, it's like the African Cup of Nations do not exactly deliver in, you know, producing a lot of these high quality goalkeepers. Like Mendy is carrying uh, African goalkeeper right now, and that is too much pressure on him, unlike some goalkeepers that are from Nigeria that I will not even bother to mention their name. And back on the upside, the African football is better in general, the play is better and uh, as usual, the tournament always recognizes the unusual talent but uh, this is uh, one of the fewer or the better uh, African Cup of Nations that you know the two big boys actually met in the finals being Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane, you know, but other than that it's usually you know the mediocre guys the ones that are not really household names in the tournament that actually dominates like vincent abubaka had his moments in europe but he's not exactly mohammed salah or sadio mani and he dominated so that's an upside for african football if it recognizes talents that were not there downside the game is not exactly the most technically gifted game you know it's rash it's hard and it's fast and that is why sometimes we fail a lot uh, in delivering good results when we go to the World Cup stage. I think the game needs to you know, produce more technically gifted players, you know, people that can slow the game down, stroke one or two passes, you know, key passes, you know, and dribble better. You know, we saw a little bit of that uh, in the North African side, but it's like the North African side that uh, they are the ones that only do that. And finally, on the upside, the rumor has been debunked. The rumor of low scoring is always low scoring 1 0, 1 0, 1 0. In 52 games, this African Cup of Nations has recorded 99 goals. To me, that is just perfect. That is just beautiful. So, all the rumors of Africa being a really low scoring tournament has been debunked. And on the downside, VAR was, you know, newly introduced and it's a very, very bad. Uh, cameo for them as uh, the referees were sort of biased especially in the uh, Nigeria Sudan and Egypt versus Guinea looks like after looking at uh, you know the virtual assistant referees decision they were kind of apologetic for the fact that they had to come to this uh, decision so there were a lot of red cards and yellow cards as usual in the African Cup of Nations and uh, the award ceremony for Senegal was completely unnecessary to me. There was no need for that. You've done the closing ceremony, you've done all that. At least this time, we didn't get to see Mufasa. So what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section, drop a like, and I'll talk to you guys later.